Well, earlier I spoke to Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya, the Belarusian opposition leader who is in exile in Lithuania. I started by asking when she was expecting to return to Belarus. <sighs> Uh, you know, I'm going back to Belarus. Uh, I want to go back to Belarus. I adore my country and uh, I will go there when I will feel safe. Do you not feel safe where you are today? No, I'm safe here in Lithuania, but I don't feel safe in Belarus now. Do you fear for your husband who's back in Belarus? Uh, for sure, I do fear uh, for my husband, uh, the same as I am worrying about all the Belarusian people who are there struggling for their rights. You are urging your supporters now to step up strike despite intimidation. I mean, you yourself fled Belarus because you didn't feel safe, as you've said. President Lukashenko right now shows no sign of backing down. Nearly two weeks after this election was held, he has even vowed to crush the unrest in the coming days. Are you not concerned that there could be more violence and more bloodshed if the movement continues? Uh, you know, um, uh, that violence that our authorities showed to the Russian people, uh, I consider to be uh, their greatest mistake ever. And uh, I call for uh, authorities not to repeat this mistake because uh, our people, they will never, never forget and forgive uh, this to uh, our president. But what about your movement? What's your message to the people who are still taking to the streets, even if in smaller numbers? If the protests turn violent again, will you order them to stop? You know, uh, I can't order anything to the Russian people. It's only their wrong decision. Well, the protests and strikes have somewhat stalled in the last few days, as we've seen. Uh, President Lukashenko is digging in and showing no sign of going anywhere. Are you worried that the movement could fail? Uh, you know, the Russian people changed and they will never uh, accept uh, old authorities and they will never uh, uh, they will never accept uh, old president anymore and sooner or later he will have to step away and uh, um, it's uh, better for everybody it's better for country if it will happen uh, in their shortest time uh, the European Union has announced further sanctions against Lukashenko. What further actions, if any, would you like them to take? And has the EU offered you any help? You know, uh, we, uh, our Belarusian people, appreciate every kind of help that other countries uh, uh, can show uh, during this uh, tough period for Belarusian people. And uh, it's up to every country what uh, it is doing uh, in this situation. But the only thing I can ask uh, other countries is to respect the sovereignty of Belarus.